What is going on guys, my name is Hussain and in this video I want to spin up a, a free Postgres instance on the cloud and then connect to it through Node.js, create a database, create a table, a uh, little bit do some queries and then just play a little bit with this stuff. So most of my videos we have been working with local Docker instances, but sometimes um, you need a cloud version uh, to kind of send uh, your colleagues a project or you're working on a project, you want to test something real quick. And this is the best way. I, I, I found this service, Elephant SQL. Uh, it's not a sponsor of this channel or anything like that, but I just uh, genuinely like it. There's a free instance. They give you like 20 megs worth of database and, and then that's it you, you know you don't really need more to build a little bit of projects so how about we jump into it guys so all you have to do is just basically log in into elephant sql and once you log in you'll be uh, able to create a new instance and this is my email feel free to email me questions i love your questions guys they are very challenging and so go ahead and create a new instance and uh let's call it test and you're gonna get the free version tiny turtle and uh, yeah, you don't need much, uh, just like that, select a region. I'm gonna select, then the closest thing to me is uh, I'm the west side, but uh, for some reason I cannot pick a west side. So I'm gonna pick the east side, North Virginia. And um, just next, zero dollars a month. You don't even have to put your credit card or anything like that, So which is, which is the best thing ever, right? And uh, yeah, just like that, we have an instance. So let's go ahead and click on that instance. And uh, here are everything. You're gonna get a password, you're gonna get the database server. It's basically spun up on port 5432 by default. And they give you 20 megs, which is for testing, it's a little bit low, but it's enough, right? And yeah, if you want HTTP API client, you can use the API key to do that stuff, but I don't really have to, uh, because I'm not gonna do that, all of that stuff. So yeah, how about we actually jump into it? So the best thing is to actually just copy this uh, connection strings, right? And the connection string that the Node.js uh, client that we're gonna use actually takes that j connection string as an option. So all we have to do is just copy this thing and then go back to uh, Node. And guys, I, I built this uh, Node.js application before. Check out the video to check it from scratch, but I'm using the PG library here and it's very simple. And what it does is I create a client and then we connect to the client. And in this case, I'm querying a table called employee. Obviously, it doesn't exist on my database that I just created. But what we're going to do is literally uh, just specify the URL here, which is boom, just like that. If we do that, then the client, which is on my machine, connects to the database immediately, which is on the cloud. That's a bad idea usually, but I'm just going doing it for uh, tutorial reasons. Usually you want your server to be very close to the database. And uh, that's because uh, the Postgres protocol and pretty much any protocol is very chatty and you want the server to be very close. So, I, and I made a video talking about say, mentioning that, uh, keep your servers close to the client, but also your database closer. So check out that video, but yeah. So we're gonna connect, uh, do it and wait, client can know it and then issue a query. I'm not gonna do a select star. I'm gonna do a create table. Let's call it employees. And then we're gonna do an ID. Uh, let's call a serial ID and a primary key. And then a name, right? The employee has an ID and a name. And text, close this thing. And that's it. That should be able to create our table. And uh, I don't really need the results back because it's a it's a dml right i mean ddl so we'll just immediately create the table and then just immediately ends the connection so and that's the function that calls the connect so how about we actually call this thing and make sure it works so all we have to do is just do node query.js which is the name of my file i have also a, a bunch of other examples here in this code i'm gonna reference it below for your, for your convenience guys hit enter and just like that we got an error <laughs> why did we save i thought i saved huh let's do it again boom ah, okay i forgot to save <laughs> so now it's it's working i'll say awesome so now we have created the table let's see if we're able to browse it hey 
I can actually execute queries here. I do that. Here's it. The table actually exists. I can actually create my table here, but <laughs> sure, I could have done that right here. But yeah, so I can start inserting some stuff here. Insert into employees. Uh, just let's start inserting some employees values. Boom. Oh, sorry. Name. I have to do like insert into name values Hussein. There you go. He doesn't like it. Maybe double quotes. Ah, that's dumb. Okay, has to be single quotes. All right, create another user. Ali, uh, Edmond, sure, Rick. Another name, Samantha, right? And that's it. Uh, can't think of any other names. Peter, set. All right, select start from employees. There you go. Here are our employees, and we got some new beautiful IDs. Go back to our client. Do change a little bit here. Do select start from employees. I'm not sure if it's. Uh, case sensitive i know my sql is case sensitive with table names but i'm i don't remember postgres if it's case sensitive or not look at that it works so yeah so just like that we spun up a postgres instance of like less than one minute we wrote some code in node.js and and just like that we have everything up and running and we can consume it so as i so i said guys we want the client to be as close to the server to the database as possible in this case the client which is issuing the query is way far apart right it's in in my subnet in my local area network and the server is way in amazon somewhere it was in amazon right i think so and yeah so you want to to issue another maybe another server to be closer to the database maybe put in a caching layer there to to minimize the number of queries all right guys very 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 quick video to show you how you can spin up a, a postgres instance in the cloud connect to a from client uh, work with it and play with it and then the way we want anyway the card will be the code will be available in the comment section below i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye